AKA Peanut. And you know, I just had to do this video tonight. I had to do a little PSA announcement because you know, the gym be so funny to me. Hold on, let me stop this music. I was listening to a little new edition. Can't stand the rain. Anyway, I ain't in love or nothing. I'm just, I like new edition. But let me tell you. So, the gym, LA Fitness is some tease. Let me tell you why. So, it's so funny to me. Like, Okay, I'm about to start off from the whole beginning. So, you know, before I even joined LA Fitness, my homeboys would be like, oh, the AV going down in there. I'd be, I'd be going down how? Like, you know, I'm acting slow because I'm like, I've, I've never really heard of something like that going to happen in the gym. But, like, these little supposed to be DL dudes or the gays or the supposed to be real discreet dudes, they be getting it in in the motherfucking gym. Like, in the saunas, in the shower. I'm about to give you all the tea. So... Let's start off with how, how people approach me. So it'd be so funny because they sit here. I be in the sun. I go in the sun after I get my little workout in. I like to go in the sun for a little bit because I don't really do cardio right now because cardio for me makes me lose weight and I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm actually trying to gain and I'm leaning, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep my thickness and just tone, tone up. So cardio for me makes me lose weight. So I don't do cardio right now. So like the sauna is kind of like my cardio as far as me getting my sweat in. And while I'm in the sauna, if it's just me by myself or maybe one other person, I do sit up some push ups and, you know, little ab workouts or whatever in the sauna. But it's so funny because these dudes, they sit here and they come in the sauna and they'll be peeking out their eyes and stuff. And, I, you know, I'll be trying to ignore the shit out of them. I have my towel over my head. I have my headsets on. And, you know, they be mad because my headsets, you can kind of hear what I'm listening to through the headsets. Because I got some, you know, I got some good headsets. So, they be hearing all this different music. You know, I play gay music, straight music. I don't care. I play whatever the fuck I want to hear. Who go, who go check me? Nobody. So you know they probably they probably heard heard a son that say uh, um I'm a fag in beast mode or something you know bullshit who cares I don't care so they be looking trying to holler and I be like bro whatever I don't even pay no mind honestly so two instances so this dude I was at my locker really getting ready to go and this dude come sneak up behind me can I get your number and I'm like I it happened so quick I was like what who the fuck is this first of all bro. I'm kind of turned off because you approached me like that, but you did a real kind of like cute, sneaky, secretive. So I'm like, sure. I gave him the Google number. You already know. You ain't getting my real number. I don't trust you like that. But after I gave him the real number, uh, excuse me, I didn't give him the real number. I gave him the Google number. So after I gave him the number or whatever, you know, he takes me talking about, oh, I want to see you. Oh, bro, hold up. You moving a little too fast. Let me tell you something. I ain't these gym thoughts in here. You ain't about to fuck me. You ain't about to meet me and, and think you about to run up in me. Or uh, I'm run up in you. Hold up. You got the wrong motherfucker. Follow that. Real talk. So I guess he thought I was playing. So he takes him back. I'm like, okay, well, get to know me first. Because you ain't even got to know me yet. And you already talking about I want to see you. And blah, 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 blah. Well, Okay. Whatever. Anyway. So I guess he thought I was playing. So we met. Probably about a week later after we texted and stuff, he was texting every day consistently talking about, you know, I, I want a long-term relationship and I'm looking for this and I'm looking for that. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, after talking and stuff, you know, I went on. I don't like bringing people to my place, but I went on and let them come over. And, you know, I'm, I'm real skeptical about that because, you know, the gays and stuff really be trying it. But guess what? I got a 9mm for their ass. So, ain't nobody coming in here starting no shit. Trust that. But, anyway... So, when he got over here, I guess he thought I was playing. He started, oh, that's ass fat, and oh, I want to come in that, bo I want to make that booty cream, and bruh, you want to what? Oh, you, I guess you thought I was playing about these LA fitness thoughts, and that I ain't one of them. I guess he thought I was playing. But so, I'm listening to him, and then he pulled out his dick, and then tried to pull my head down, like, bruh, you really got me fucked up now. Bruh, first of all, you come over here thinking you about to fuck. Second of all, you think you about, I'm about to suck your dick? Nigga, get a motherfucking life. Kill yourself. Die. That's kind of me. Don't die, but you know what I'm saying. But it, it was so funny. And it was like, okay, well, bruh, oh, you know, I got to go work. It's It's been fun. Thank you for coming over. Watch Scandal real quick. First of all, you lucky you even came because I I don't like my Scandal interrupted. But I went on and let you watch Scandal. 
I guess you thought she was going to get something in between the, the commercials of Scandal and Olivia Pope. Not never. Bad bitches don't do that. So for all you open, open leg bitches, if y'all fucking people on the first time y'all meet them and stuff, y'all nasty. Nasty as fuck. But anyway, so, so it's funny because now I see him in the gym all the time. And, you know, he used to text me every day and stuff before he, I guess he thought I was lying. So now that he see he want to get shit from me, now he don't text no more, which is cool. Because I deleted his number anyway. Don't give a damn. Niggas come and go all the time. When one leave, I got three more who lined up. Who gives a fuck? Anyway, so, but when I see him, he be trying to act shady. He look at me, be like, hey, I, hey. <laughs> Like, bro, you ain't even got to speak to me, honestly. Like, if, if you feel if you feel some type of way about it, or if you feel like it's hurting you to speak, you ain't even got to open your mouth to me. Because, honestly, I'm going to go on with or without you. I'm going to be in the gym still doing my thing. Still, you ain't the only nigga looking at me. You ain't the last nigga to go look at me in the gym. Who gives a fuck? But I guess you thought I was playing and I was one of them weak bitches. No, nah, nigga, I'm a nigga. If you want a bitch, you need to find you a bitch. But, honestly... I'm what my word is my bond. If I told you you weren't fucking me, you weren't fucking me. What point blank? But anyway, it's he he a little salty, y'all. He was real salty today. But anyway, getting back to this gym thing. So let me tell you. So him and some other people, cause see, I be peeping shit, I be watching shit, and I hadn't really peeped it beforehand. He would have never got my number. So these old men, and well, some of them don't be old. Some of them actually be fine as shit. Don't get me wrong, but you nasty. They be sitting there, they walk back and forth to the sauna. Like, I, I've literally sat in the sauna for maybe 20 minutes to get my little cardio sauna workout in. And it's like, I sit here and I watch people. They go back and forth out the sauna to the shower, from the shower to the sauna. I'm like, okay, so nigga, if you just took a shower, why the fuck did you come back in the sauna to sweat again? And then you going back to the shower. So then today... You know, I only stood in the sun for maybe like five, ten minutes. You know, got a little sweat. I didn't want to put back on my pants and stuff sweaty. So, I went on and took a little shower real quick. Well, not even a shower. I took a rinse off because I took a shower when I got home. Because I'm, really, I'm real OCD and cleany and hygiene when it comes to showering in the gym like that. I just feel, ooh. I just don't feel right. I feel nasty as shit. But, so... Today, while I was in the shower, you know, peep, like, it was three heads peeking at me. And I'm like, oh, my God, I felt so uncomfortable. I'm like, so, you know, I'm trying to make sure the shower curtain closed on both ends. Because, you know, I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to jack off and watch them and all that. Because, you know, they do. Y'all, y'all would be surprised what the dudes in L.A. Fitness be doing. Y'all, I'd be like, really? So, y'all, so they was playing shower tag. So, the dude... One dude ran into another dude's shower. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm minding my business. But, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing everything because I'm watching it. Because, a real, all jokes aside, for real, for real. I had a dude that jumped in my shower one time about two months ago. And that turned me all the way the fuck off. Like, you got to be bold as shit to jump in somebody's shower. And you ain't even, they ain't give you no signals to say, come on, or anything. Talking about, I wanted you. Nigga, get the fuck up out of my shower. You got me fucked up. But anyway, so they going back and forth. Okay. I don't know what they was doing because it was real quick. So I'm like, well, if they playing with each other, I mean, I don't know what's going on with shit. You know, I'm just trying to hurry up and get this sweat off me so I can get on out. So then the little dude, he looked like he a little bottom. He, he jumped his little happy ass out. First of all, who the fuck take a shower with a hat on? I'm like, okay, is this dude in the shower with a hat on? Bitch, he was in the shower with a motherfucking hat on. Really, and and clearly he stood there watching me and whoever else the whole time. I'm like, oh my god, this dude, he clearly got the shower running, but he wasn't taking no shower. He was just looking the whole time. So I'm like, let me hurry up, let me hurry up. So he kept the shower on, jumped out, put his towel on the other dude shower towel, and then he jumped in the shower with the other dude. And I don't know, I guess they was fucking because they stayed in there a long time after that. And when that happened, I said, okay, it's time for me to go because if one of these bitches jump in my shower, I'm going to have to fuck them up and cave their chest in this gym. Because they be, they be taking me lightly. I will cave your motherfucking chest in if you try that shit with me. You better make sure you got permission to do it with me. What the fuck? Who does that? That's that's lame. That's thirsty. That's pathetic. And I'm not thirsty by all... My, 
thirst is very quenched. I keep a Gatorade water and Sprite on deck. Trust me on that. So it's just so funny to me. Like these these LA Fitness DL and Discreet. And it be old. They be like 45 and 50. But then some of them be like 20, 25 and 28. And be talking about they got girlfriends or they married. Like, oh, I'm at like four or five married men in the gym. And they be trying to holler like, bruh. I'm not about to be your second because if I'm gonna be your second, trust me, you gonna pay for it. I promise you that. But y'all, they be it's be so crazy. LA Fitness is some motherfucking tease. Like it's so bad that one dude one time I wasn't even paying attention. I was in the sauna, and I guess the dude was sitting there playing with his dick, so I wasn't even paying no attention to him really. And all of a sudden, I heard him say, "Oh shit!" Um, what he said. APD or a a T Atlanta police, whatever, APD. I'm like, what you, huh? So, you know, at that point, I'm like, what you mean? Oh, that's the police. Because he had jumped and stopped. I, he, it scared, kind of scared me. I'm like, do I need to duck or some shit? So, it's so bad that y'all got undercover police having to come in the gym because the dude fucking and sucking like that. That's crazy. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it be, it be entertaining to watch, but it's like, if y'all only knew some of y'all crushes that I'm just telling y'all, y'all IG, IG and YouTube, y'all sit over here and y'all be crushing on some of these crushes talking about they y'all MCMs, and if y'all knew how nasty y'all motherfucking MCMs was, I don't know if y'all would want them to be y'all MCM, because I ain't seen the ones that got boyfriends, I ain't seen the married ones, I'm, shit, I ain't seen all of them, you know, I ain't gonna expose nobody, because I ain't, I ain't into exposing that, that's some gay, that's some gay stuff, you know, I ain't messy like that now. Um, you know, I, 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 I be real with you because shit, I'm talking to you about a real situation that's happening with me when I go to the gym and I ain't paying no attention to it, but I ain't about to be messy and be like, oh, they gay or they, they on the low. Yeah, that's, that's too messy. That's messy shit. But I mean, just be mindful when you go to the gym, especially if you ain't into that, bro, man, you better be mindful because they've been on get you. They've been on raped you up in there because LA fitness, I'm telling you like Midtown is awful. Peace Tree Buckhead, awful. Um, Camp Creek, you know, I hear people saying about Camp I don't like Camp Creek LA Fitness because it just be like Club LA. Like, the bitches walking there with heels on. Like, bitch, how you working out with motherfucking heels on matching from head to toe? You got on a, a red um, workout shirt and some red and yellow workout pants and you got on some damn red bottoms heels. Bitch, you ain't working out. How you working out in heels? So, I don't like Camp Creek because they just be doing the most. Like, that's Club LA over there. Um, that's really too. I mean, I, the other ones I go to, I, I've never really seen it. Um, as bad as um, Midtown and Peachtree, the one at Buckhead and Midtown, real bad with it. Now, the other ones, if it is happening, may it, it, it be real, real on the low, so I don't be paying no attention. But them two, like, you can't help. Y'all can say what y'all want. You can't help but pay attention to it. Because, hell, it almost make you feel like, damn, do I need to watch myself? Me and my homeboy, we was working out the other day. And we was like, ah, it was so much going on. We f said, fuck it. We went, we went out nasty. We didn't take no shower or nothing. We went on and went home, went our separate ways. And we showered at the house. Because it's like, sometimes you be in there and you be like, I ain't even feeling this today. Sometimes I don't even get in the sauna because you be like, You'll go in the sauna and you see 20 niggas up in there. And you be like, oh, bro, don't even worry about it. Because you already know what the fuck going on. And it be the white boys, the Latinos, the black. They be pop. It be popping. I'm just saying. But don't jump in my shower. Don't ever think you can jump in my shower. You better make sure if you jump in my shower, I gave you permission to. Because if not, you go get your chest caved the fuck in. Because I know you fucking lying. Who does that? But anyway, all I'm saying is, you know, LA Fitness, I, I you know, I like it because it's getting my body right, you know. I know y'all see it. Don't hate because it's, it's coming. Wait till summer 2018. I'm about to fuck it up. I promise you. But yeah, we're going to talk about this some more. I just had to do this a little PSA announcement. Don't jump in my motherfucking shower if I ain't I invite you in there. Second of all, I never invite you in my shower at LA Fitness. That's the lowest of the low. That's so unclassy. Bro, get your motherfucking life, your thirsty ass, stoutish ass. Don't ever try me like that while I'm at the gym. Because that's going to have a problem for both of us. And I do show the fuck out when I want to. But anyway, y'all, this your boy, JR. Peace.
peanut, whatever you want to call me. Just keeping it real with you. Real fame, real life, what it is. Watch out, LA Fitness. I love y'all, but some of these dudes be out of control.